So I'm um, the CEO of Desert Control, and we turn uh, deserts into fertile uh, farmland. That all started when we were hired to test out a product that failed, but during that process, we ended up asking the chief researcher in Egypt is Mali uh, of what was their best solution and why they haven't done it. He said it was clay and proudly presented his study on the clay for 20 years. But it was green because it was too expensive to do, because they were using 100 kilos per square meter of clay and shoveling it in. My father goes, okay. We go back to Norway. My father, he's a HVAC engineer. We couldn't grow a pot plant to save our lives. But fluid dynamics, he's an expert at. So as we started digging into the problem, we figured that everything just goes straight through the sand. And to fix that, we had to use clay, as the, the researcher suggested. Um, five months later, we're back. And we say, we, find, we finally figured the solution for you guys. You just watered into the sand. Wasif's look at us, the chief researcher, and go, we've done this for 70 years, 20 of which we dedicated to clay. Don't you think we tried mixing water and clay? What happens is, however you mix it, you pour it onto the sand, the clay just goes on top and creates a crust that kills off everything that was growing there. And then you have to bulldoze it off, so it doesn't work. My father proudly takes out his patent and mixer, started mixing water and clay, and pours it on a cylinder with the sand, and it goes in, and it glazes through perfectly. And you can see the sand grain there, which is covered by the, nano liquid, uh, the liquid nano clay, and it binds perfectly to the sand grains. And Wasif just looks at it, gets up, leaves the office, and we have banging on the wall from the outside. He comes back again, sits down, has a small mark here. <laughs> okay, this works. Let's do this. So we have the results uh, of the growth. We tested the wheat. And the uh, results were amazing, but it took us a long time to figure out it wasn't the clay that did it. It was the fungus in the clay. Uh, sorry, the fungus that was growing because of the liquid nanoclay was giving it a growth environment. And suddenly, there was magic. We finally got that uh, results uh, confirmed. And now we're basically in Egypt, um, Ismailia. We have several small fields with a lot of different uh, tests. And in uh, California now, I'm leaving right after this conference to seal the deal, to do a demonstration area. And also in China, we have one coming up now. And this is a picture, this, uh, the sand is actually a picture from Ismailia, the, the test area. And the green one is a year after. When you have deserts, there's not always water available, but very many have salt as a coastline or whatever. So you can take a biorefinery from biomass, which is grown in the desert, put it into the desalination plant, and you have water. And the beauty of this is it's all carbon negative. So you can do this and it will improve the environment by producing more and more food, water and power in pure deserts. And the climate impact is quite, uh, rather stunning. You have water reduced in the soil by 50 to 66% depending on wind. You have lower surface temperature wherever you have any growth on the, so uh, on the um, ground. And you have reduced CO2 uh, because of your, your growing um, in the deserts. This is our team. And Christian is the inventor of everything. Um, Andreas is, the, um, is a former lieutenant of the Royal Navy in Norway. And this picture here is our first trial in Pakistan, where we went in and did a large scale. And this is the desert. You have the nursery right up there. And this is a year later. And that's what I have to say. And we, as an ending comment, we had a meeting with the World Bank, and they looked at all of this and said, well, this is going to be a game changer on a global level. So I hope you'll see more of us. Thank you.